Good day, I'm Spike Carlson. I'm the author of the Backyard Homestead Book of Building Project. And today I wanna to show you how to build this Leopold bench. It's one of my favorite projects in the book. In fact, it's one of my favorite projects ever. Uh, you can build this thing in an hour or two. You can make it by the dozens. They're a great project to do with your kids, with your grandkids, and I'm gonna show you how to build it. You can cut the front and the back legs all out of a single two by eight, that's 10 foot long. I use treated wood because it'll last longer. The front legs are 33 inches long. I'm gonna mark the first long leg at 33. The next leg at 66, that's the two long ones. The back legs are 18 inches long. And then I'm gonna mark the two shorter ones at another 18 inches. The next step is to cut these at an angle. We'll show you how to do that. The end cuts on all four legs is a uniform 30 degrees. The best way to get that uniform cut is to use a speed square. You're gonna place the corner of the speed square at the very tip of the board. Set the angle at 30 degrees. Draw your line and then continue to do that at every mark as you work your way down the board. Your next step is to make the angled cuts. Move on down the line and make your 30 degree cuts. When you're done cutting, you're gonna have two identical 33 inch pieces and two identical 18 inch pieces. The next step is to make the leg assembly and they need to be mirror images of each other. So in order to kind of idiot proof it, I take the short leg, line the angles up on the ends exactly, make my mark, and that mark tells me where the top of the short leg needs to go when I make the final joinery. Line up the end angles, make your mark, and you're ready to screw this together. You're gonna to use construction adhesive and two and a half inch screws. The screws are geared for exterior use and the construction adhesive is good for either interior or exterior use. Apply a few beads of construction adhesive. You're gonna to wanna to have a two by four there to keep that leg propped up. A little glue squishing out is fine. You're gonna want at least four screws on each side. If you find your wood splitting, take a 1 8 inch drill bit and pre-drill the hole so your wood doesn't split. Then do the exact same thing for the other side. We're using a stair tread for the seat. It's great because it's 12 inches wide, which gives you a nice wide seat. It has a rounded front, which is easy on the back of your knees. You take your seat, position it, line up the back corner, of the seat with the back edge of the leg. We're gonna be installing four screws near the very end of this tread. We're gonna install three screws in from the side. We're gonna move over to the other side and do the exact same thing again. Then it's time to install the back. This is a two by six that's 39 inches long. We've pre-drilled a couple holes on each end to prevent splitting. Position the leg and install the screws. That's why I love my Leopold bench. It's inexpensive, easy to build, and incredibly comfortable. Except when it's 10 below zero. Thanks for watching. I hope you got some good information out of the video today. It's just one of the 76 projects in the Backyard Homestead book of building projects. Some of the other projects include a chicken arc, a potting bench, a root cellar storage system, and other great projects for a more self-sufficient lifestyle.